So I'm not too hurt. I could upgrade... What would I upgrade? Oh. I'm gonna toke. I'm gonna toke out normality. Just because. But yeah, it's one damage, not no damage. No damage. But like, one damage is no damage. Let's be honest here. Tori Gate is... I, I got it on one of my very first runs ever, and it was it was good, but I don't think I ever properly recognized how amazing it was. And I feel kind of dumb, because like, holy shit is it good. Because, it, you know, any enemy that does like multi-hit attacks pretty much just can't hurt you. It's ridiculous. That's you took normality while having the relic that gives you bonuses for those things. Not really that helpful here. Um, the extra strength is nice, but seeing as we've got uh, demon form, the extra one strength from Duvudal really doesn't make uh, any difference. Honestly. <sighs> Dual wield's kind of useful, but we already have one. I'd almost say just skip. Cause we've already got a we've already got a dual wield, and I'm not using it that much. So yeah, let's let's skip it for, for max HP. If you're gonna skip it, do it yourself. I mean, I'm letting you guys I'm I'm letting you guys vote to some degree. I'm not just gonna co-opt everything. Uh, well, we could bash, dual wield, cleave. The heavy blade's not really worth it yet. Yeah, okay, bash him. Dual wield, cleave. This is cleave plus. Baseline, cleave. And cleave. I'll take some damage, but... It'll be fine. Let me see. Can I kill this guy? I'm gonna upgrade fire breathing. Strike, fire breathing. Okay. Oh, fire breathing counts. Uh, the first attack. Okay. Let's see. What do we have? Gonna disarm her. Seeing red. Metallicize. Headbutt. Let's headbutt. Um. Heavy blade bash, or I don't know. In retrospect, headbutting was maybe kind of pointless here. Whatever, we needed the damage. Ah, there it is. All right. Well, I'm gonna apotheosis. Dual wield sword boomerangs. Motherfucker! God damn. Why does this always happen? These guys are just a regular enemy. Oh, I can't take too much damage on this. Mm. Okay, there he goes. I wonder, did you ever play that Meteor Fall game? I never got the chance. I wanted to. I really wanted to. Uh, but my computer died just as I got the whole thing set up, and I was just like... Screw it, I'll come back to this later. Okay. Warcry actually would be amazing. Yeah, Boomerang likes to screw me. It's shocking how useless Boomerang is. It's really good against single target, but... Uh, but, like, Boomerang really likes to just show up and just be like, Nah, completely garbage. Okay, I'm actually going to vote for skip. We don't need flex. Flex is kind of laughably useless for this deck. Okay, so I'm going to disarm this sucker, because he's a dick. Iron wave this guy. And let's just kill him. I don't want to use the sword boomerang, because the mad gremlin could fuck me over. It likes to do that. Apotheosis. Limit break. Do we bother limit breaking? We might as well limit break, and we might as well just... Defend. God, this guy sucks. 
Okay, seeing red, demon form. Heavy blade to kill him. And that makes my life a lot easier. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, so we're gonna dual wield fire breathing. No, let's dual wield metallicize. Let's not be stupid. Offering hurts me a little bit, but it's worth... Because now I can play metallicize, 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 fire breathing. Uh, let's see. Cleave to kill all but the leader. Defend, defend. Okay. So now he doesn't hurt me. Let me see. Let's just bash and strike him. And now I think we're good. Oh, uh, it's... Limit break, for obvious reasons. Sword boomerang. Oh, which just destroys the boss. Huh. Thread needle and magic flower. Oh, baby. You know how to make life good. So I like Disarm probably better than Ghostly Armor and Power Through is garbage. Ghostly Armor Plus is kind of nice because we don't have a whole lot of block, but we've got the potential for multi multi metallicize. I don't know. I could go either way. I mean, Ghostly Armor Plus is pretty good. And if I don't use it, if I don't need to use it, then I can just get rid of it. I just really like Disarm. Okay, so let's rest. We got a boss coming up. I don't want to be dumb. Uh, especially because it's dad. Fuck off, dad. Uh, let's drink this. Let's see what we can do. Um, offering. We get the metallicize, but I don't know if I want to use the metallicize yet. I probably should. Fire breathing. Metallicize. Disarm. Ghostly armor cuts his damage down to nil. And then I'm gonna headbutt him. Which brings me probably ghostly armor back. That's fine. Okay, there's a pot. Fuck. I gotta do demon form. We lose that opportunity, we're in trouble. Luckily, my deck is actually fairly small. So we can just kind of wait it out a little bit. Uh, let's see. Armaments. Heavy blade. Heavy blade straight to the dad. Alright, do I bother with seeing red? Nah. Not gonna help me. Why does this game do this? I mean, honestly, dad... Dad is not that dangerous. If you notice, my health is looking pretty good already. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, 17 damage to a random enemy three times, or I could... Let's dual wield the sword boomerangs. At this point, they're way deadly. Alright, uh... Headbutt. Limit break back. Means apotheosis is... in the list. So let's just use that. Take seven damage. So that means apotheosis. Limit break. God damn it. God damn it. I could actually have just killed him right here, had I been paying attention. Uh, maybe not. Oh well. Who cares? Because I got Sword Boomerang. Limit Break is silly. Yes it is, especially with this deck. Huh. Actually, I think most of these are kind of bad. We don't really want another demon form. I mean, we could. We just don't have any energy generation, so demon form just becomes... Silly? We don't need barricade. Like, barricade is bad. I don't have enough block to justify it. Exhume for offering. Well, I was about to click it, but then it went past. Oh, hey, this makes life easier. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with Mark of Pain. I know you guys wanted to vote for that one, but I'm not going Runic Dome. 
And Runic Pyramid is garbage. Because we're doing a Black Star run. That means I want to fight as many mid boss as possible. Which means I want to take make some semi-executive decisions here. This looks not bad. Get to here, decide what we want to do. Um. Alternatively, look at that. Look at this. Is this stupid? Oh, we wouldn't get a shop though. That's that's the one iffy thing. Because there's no shops up here. Whereas there's a shop. Oh uh, well, no, there's a shop here. But I'd fight four mid bosses. It'd kill me. It would probably kill me. Yeah, we've got a shop to the left. Because I could go Mystery Machine into mid-boss, mid-boss, shop, bonfire, three. Four versus three. Shop in the beginning. See, I'd skip the shop in the beginning and get the, this shop here at the end. Wait, Pyramid is garbage? The ability to keep all the cards in your hand for the next round felt pretty good. Yeah, but if you get, like, wounds or something, you're in, you're in trouble. Uh, the main reason why I don't want to do this is healing. Um, there's one bonfire at the very beginning of all of this. I guess... Honestly, if we get... Yeah, sh sure, screw it. Mid-boss hunting. No. I don't know. It might be better to go this way. Uh, this way we get a shop here, multiple bonfires, and an almost equal amount of mid-bosses. Let's go with that. Oh, right. We got Thread Needles recently. Well, that makes me kind of ridiculous. Okay, uh, headbutt to start with. I'm just gonna spread my damage kind of hard. And yeah, if I can keep Runic Dode Decahedron up, heal a lot. I don't heal as much as you'd think I do. Oh, well, this is gonna suck. Double my strength. I'm not gonna get through these guys' D at all. Uh, who's. I guess I should have actually weakened him first. I wasn't thinking I had enough defense for that. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Offering. Demon form. Seeing red. Disarm the guy in the back. Dual wield fire breathing. Do we f breathe fire or do I just hit this guy for 30 damage? Really tempting to hit the guy for 30 damage. Let's hit the guy for 30 damage. The fire breathing becomes free later on anyway. And we're gonna want the healing. Oh, well, there goes my plated armor. Well, apotheosis. Second demon form? Uh. Nah, let's, let's not take the damage. The second demon form's not that helpful here. I'd rather just not take the hit. Okay, metal size, ghostly armor. Where am I getting that other free energy from? Hell if I know. This is definitely not runic de decahedron. Eh, it's gone now. Okay, well, fire breathing for free healing, limit break, and just destructinate him. Let's see, Dark Blood would be helpful. Oh yeah, uh, Black Blood would be incredibly helpful here. Or whatever the name is. I actually don't remember the names of the relics particularly well off the top of my head. Don't know why. I guess they're just kind of easily forgettable in certain cases, many cases. People really want that Infernal Blade. Well, we do have the Toxic Egg. So yeah, Infernal Blade is absolutely worth picking up here. I got the extra from Sundial. Oh, everything t three times I shuffle my deck. I gotcha. I was confused. All right. Lose all gold, gain a relic. No, screw you. Get out of here. You're not even that useful. Find some potions. They're all bad. Uh, let's get rid of that for that. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. 
Oh boy, an orb walker. It's a favorite. Okay. Iron Wave, Headbutt. I don't want to take damage here, because this guy sucks. All oh, right, we have got Thread and Needle, so I guess I don't have to be too aggressive here. Yeah, of all the enemies that I don't like to fight, Orb Walker ranks real high up there. He has Demon Form himself, which just makes him not fun. Luckily, we got Plated Armor and some other things to work with. So it's not so bad. Okay. Uh, I can armaments. Demon form. Or I could sword boomerang. 12, 22 damage. And then I could just blow them up. Upgrade, sword boomerang. Fuck off, dude. Wouldn't mind Shrug It Off, actually. Shrug It Off wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad bad deal here, ish. Because we don't have a whole lot of defensive cards. If you block an enemy's attack entirely, you shouldn't take status effects. I think either that, or it should, like, have the amount of status effects you get or something like that. Like, I really like how the Book of Stabbing works with status effects. Even if the Book of Stabbing is an awful creature and wrecks my shit. Ugh, these guys again. As long as they're not synced up, they're not a problem. It's just when they sync up, it sucks. Uh, let's hit the middle one. Let's see, did each boss get their own artwork at the top? Yes, they did. So, oh, well, oh nah, that's okay. We only really have two powers that we need to use. Infernal Blade, uh, Rampage. Oh, that's kind of helpful. Okay, Armaments, Rampage. Rampage, the one in the back. Shrug it off. Defend, and well, duel is pointless here. And this is still gonna hurt, though. I feel like these guys just do maybe a little bit too much damage. Oh, well. Let's see, we'll defend, and then I'm probably going to cleave, seeing as they're all vulnerable. Let's see, Apotheosis, Offering. I could do the Demon Form, but I don't know if we want to do the Demon Form. Uh, at this point, I'm going to be strong enough anyway. Yeah, let's focus on not taking damage. Limit break. This. Sword boomerang. Okay. Killed one of them, but not the right one necessarily, but that's okay. Okay. Limit break again. Bash. Sure. Probably could have actually just killed him. Yeah, I think I might actually turn off uh, Twitch integration for... I don't know. I might turn it off, I might not. I like Twitch integration a lot. I think it's a cool, um, I think it's cool. The problem is it destroys chat and makes it kind of not satisfying. Like, I almost wish uh, Twitch integration was like a web app or something and you could just like click it in or maybe there was like a poll that would get posted. So instead of everybody saying in chat, number one, number zero or whatever, unless the one thing I could do actually, if we wanted to is, um, yeah, I'll do that. Next time we play uh, Slay the Spire, I'm actually just going to hook it up to my henchbots chat instead. Uh, cause I've, I've got a bot account that I've never really used. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have voting handled through there. Cause I think that would work better. And that way we don't have the, uh, the crazy, uh, the crazy spam. Okay, let's drink this. Hoping for something a little bit more useful. Shrug it off. I was really hoping for a demon form, but I guess we'll just do shrug it off, headbutt, take the limit break back, and cleave. Because, yeah, that that way we don't have to worry about chat becoming this, like, awful butt garbage. I want the demon forms, but I'm actually going to go uh, metallicize first. 
That way this guy barely hurts me. And that way all chat is handled elsewhere. Okay, so there's our demon form that we're looking for. Infernal Blade, which is free. Uh, let's see, we could do the Sword Boomerang, or I could do Armaments, and... Sword Strike, or Pommel Strike, not that helpful. But yeah, second Twitch account, host myself there, and have the voting there? Yeah, probably. Seems like the easiest way to handle it. Okay, so we have one turn. Now he's going to start getting kind of punchy. Luckily, I do a bunch of damage, so like I'm not too worried about how much he does. Okay. So this is probably going to hurt. Take limit break back. And you know what? I'm going to throw the potion of weakness at him. Okay. Limit break for more strength. I could block some more. Yeah, let's block some more. He's going to do a ton of damage. And dual wield the demon forms, which is probably a terrible idea. If I had Reaper on this run, we'd be insane. Okay. Demon form again. Armaments, headbutt. I could have dual wielded the headbutts. I wasn't even thinking. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So clothesline wouldn't be bad on this, actually. We don't have anything that applies weakness. Otherwise, skip. Let's see, what do we have next, anyway? much everybody saying max HP. Okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. So do we go... I could go a random enemy and this, or I could go this way, but it would lock me into a mid-boss. Let's go to the random enemy. Let's see how much I heal. Oh, it's just the serpent. Oh, that's that makes life easy. Buff the boomerang. Sword boomerang. Ghostly armor. And a strike. I guess I didn't need to do the ghostly armor. I could have just thrown it away. Okay, so we have Offering, Seeing Red, Metallicize, Disarm, Cleave, or Bash, Cleave, Defend, Defend. Infernal Blade for Sever Soul. That helps. Grab ghostly armor back. Almost dead. Unfortunately, we're going to take a hefty hit here. Apotheosis. Ghostly armor, defend. Hurt a little bit more than I wanted it to. Because without that early demon form, we actually are kind of weak. And the limit break, actually. Oh, well. So another uh, shrug it off wouldn't be bad. Havoc's, actually, Havoc is pretty damn good. Like, Havoc Plus has the potential for me to just play a demon form right up. I'm at... It is a bit scary, though. Because if, if I accidentally use it to, to play my limit break, we lose a lot of our, our strength early on. Okay, so I'm pretty wounded. Let's not guts it. I could. It's tempting. 
Uh, I'd rather... Ooh! Yeah, they have a new bonfire for each, uh, for each location, so we get the courier. And I'm just gonna grab the Metallicize Plus, save you guys some time. The seeing red would be nice. But I don't want to. Okay. Uh, let's do demon form and just ghostly armor. Armaments, defend, headbutt. And I'm just going to take the armaments back. Okay, there's Apotheosis. That's helpful. I guess I didn't need the armaments after all. Okay, so we have Seeing Red for some extra energy. Metallicize, Demon Form, Disarm, and Defend. Okay, that makes him much worse. Do the attack images for enemies mean anything? Like, is an axe different from a scythe? Yes, uh, so the higher, the, uh, the different symbols indicate how strong the attack is going to be. Uh, so if, if it's, if it's just like a sword, it's gonna do, you know, so, so much, I don't know. Uh, my, my explanation is not going to be very good here. Um, but the bigger and more impressive, ooh. Let's get rupture. I'm just gonna start co-opting co these. I I apologize. All right, so we got molten egg, frozen eye. Another limit break. Cauldron's kind of pointless. A little late for molten egg. Another limit break would be amazing. I'm gonna get frozen eye. Frozen Eye and Limit Break. I don't have any curses, right? Yeah, I don't have any curses. I don't really have any cards that I'd want to get rid of. Everything generally works pretty well with this deck. So let's get Frozen Eye. Toy Ornithopter is a little bit iffy. And... I mean, it's tempting to get Feel No Pain anyway, even if it's not that useful. Let's remove a random strike. I don't need them. And Havoc now. Yeah, let's get Havoc. And I could get the Feel No Pain. I'm gonna get the Feel No Pain just for a little bit of combat healing. Okay, so what can I smith up? I think I'm going to smith up the other demon form. Okay, it's these shits. Well, there's Apotheosis real early. That's helpful. Okay. Bash the one in the front. Let's perpetuate that. Do I shrug it off? Uh, they're going to do... No. Let's not do shrug it off. I don't want to accidentally draw a card that I'm going to need. God, I hate these guys. Demon form. Metallicize. Shrug it off. And rupture. I hate them so much. Okay, seeing red. Weaken the guy in the back, because I'm not going for him. Dual wield. Metallicize, metallicize, metallicize. Keep my HP up, and this will keep me nice and nice and insulated against their damage. All of those burns just suck. Okay, what do we got next? We got a burn. Havoc. Uh, let's see. So they're going to hit me. I'm going to do demon form again and just to defend. Okay. Infernal Blade gets me a searing blow. Helpful. Cleave. Heavy Blade. Feel no pain for a little bit of extra healing. Okay. Doing actually fairly well so far. Having Reaper on this deck would have been incredible. And we get Pantograph. Okay, that solves many a problem. 
I'm actually going to grab the spot weakness. Uh, I'd like to get another demon form. Um, but it's not helpful here. Hmm. I'd like to grab the inflame, but I think I'm actually just going to grab a, a weakness potion. So the reason why I don't want the inflame is because we're uh, we're right about to go fight the um, we're about to go fight uh, the chosen one or the the awakened one or whatever. I don't want that. I do not. I do not want uh, powers for that. So I'm actually going to finally upgrade armaments plus, and then we have apotheosis, uh, but it's immediately more applicable than what I'm doing. Okay. So, this is going to suck a bit, but it's also worth it. So we're going to do Demon Form, and we're going to Disarm. Infernal Blade. Headbutt the front one. Shrug it off. We get Fire Breathing, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to immediately explode these guys. Okay, so... Now we've got the effects of uh, Demon Form without the buff applied to them, which is perfect. And then I can start farming spot weakness off of them, which is really helpful. It's actually a nicely defensible deck. Okay, so we could use Offering. Well, what's Offering going to get me? 4 HP, draw 5 cards. Not helpful here. It would give me the Limit Break. But I don't really want that. So let's do Limit Break, Ghostly Armor, Headbutt. Let's take the Limit Break back so we have another Limit Break. Limit Break, Strike. And I'm probably just going to take this damage. Okay, Limit Break, Bash. Defend, defend. Or defend once, and then rupture. Ugh. This first phase sucks a little bit. Okay, so what do we have? Next up is armaments. So let's Havoc armaments, because it's never going to help me at all. And Womp. Which means we can now freely play Demon Form. Alright. So let's do Limit Break, Offering... Shrug it off. Fire breathing. Heavy blade for 1,164 uh, damage. This is strength. That was a really strong run. Score was kind of garbage, though. Money, money. But we didn't get uh, Mystery Machine. We didn't get champion. We didn't get a lot of things. Oh well. But that was a nice that was a nice swole run. And actually that's I think that might have been the highest single damage I've seen to date. I don't know. I might have done 2000 damage before, but that it, that was one of my strongest hits I've ever hit an enemy with. That was that was a good run. I don't know what to do next. Uh we could do do another silent run, maybe get my ass kicked. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I could... Nah, let's not do Relic Descriptions. I'll do that later.